This industrial zone in Tunis is home to a number of innovative companies. Since 2015, the Tunisian government has been expanding its commitment to environmental technology. Afrolight is just a year and a half old and already has a workforce of 30. The company makes LED lamps, which are cleaner and more efficient than the older incandescent light bulbs. 24-year-old Amani Ben Hassan is the daughter of the company's founder and is set to take the reins. The government is calling on young people to get involved. It offers funds for developing new projects. I qualified for a subsidy. And I also try to encourage other young people to invest in this new technology. Energy costs are high in Tunisia. The country imports most of its electricity, mainly from Algeria. And industry consumes a large part of that supply. The onus is therefore on companies to reduce their energy use. The biggest brewery in the country is SFBT. It makes soft drinks as well as beer. German development aid agency GIZ is advising the company on ways of saving energy. And change is already underway. The company has now installed biogas plants, for example. The brewing process generates a lot of heat. In the past, this went to waste, but not any longer. This boiler behind me has been fitted with an energy-saving system. It uses the heat of the thermal energy escaping from the chimney. It's basically a heat recovery system. Somoser, one of the biggest ceramics manufacturers in the country, is based two hours southeast of Tunis. The temperatures in its giant ovens reach over 1,000 degrees Celsius. Despite the expense, the company has now opted to install a combined heat and power system. The facility costs 5 million euros. It allows the company to produce its own electricity while feeding any surplus energy back into the grid. Dedicated energy managers keep tabs on the energy supply. Back in the capital, Tunis, efforts are also being made to make the construction industry more energy efficient. The Technical Center of Natural Building Materials offers training to out-of-work architects, civil engineers, and people who are simply interested in new, affordable, and environmental technologies. We want to create new jobs, especially in regions where unemployment is rife. It will help revitalize these regions and create new industrial sectors. Tunisia's economy is in poor shape. Mabrouk Massa struggled for some time, but after training at the technical center, he set up his own business. I was working in the tourism sector, but I wanted to do my own thing, something in this fledgling industry. So I looked into manufacturing gypsum boards and I got trained up. Mabrouk Massa's company now employs 35 people. It insulates buildings with the gypsum boards. Unemployment is rife among Ameni Ben Hassan's generation. Over half the population of Tunisia is under 30. Many people she went to college with have yet to find work. But environmental engineering is a growth industry. Our generation is the most affected by environmental issues. And so now they've started to become a big part of our thinking. The system of the environment. Environmental protection and energy efficiency, new technologies that could give the Tunisian economy a major boost and the country's younger generation new opportunities.